First Lady Melania Trump stepped out solo Sunday night to attend an annual gala in Washington, D.C. as her husband landed in Singapore ahead of the highly anticipated meeting with Kim Jong-un. Melania, who wore a black $2,700 Escada gown, was honorary chair for the annual gala paying tribute to former President Abraham Lincoln at Ford's Theatre. She delivered remarks on stage at the end of the program. This appearance is one of Melania's first since being away from the public eye for 25 days, while she recovered from kidney surgery. She made her first public appearance last week at a Gold Star event. Melania made her second public appearance since her kidney surgery Wednesday afternoon, when she joined the president at a briefing on hurricane preparedness at FEMA. The First Lady delivered remarks at the end of Sunday night's program, thanking Ford's theater and the performers for a wonderful evening. She also congratulated the recipients of this year's Lincoln Medal, an annual award given to people who have exemplified the legacy of President Lincoln through their achievements and bodies of work. One of this year's recipients is businesswoman Sheila Johnson, co-founder of Bed and CEO of Salamander Hotels and Resorts. I was honored to be part of such a special evening, said First Lady Melania Trump. Tonight reminds all of us about the power the arts have in cultivating the American voice. Thank you to Ford's Theatre Society for tonight and your continued dedication to education and leadership in the arts, the impact they have on society is invaluable and something we will continue to cherish throughout time. Friday, President Donald Trump revealed his wife underwent a four-hour operation and she is prohibited from flying for a month. Can't fly for one month, the doctors say. He said that she wanted to go, Trump said. She had a big operation that was close to a four-hour operation. And she's doing great, Trump said. He added that the first lady is doing great. That assessment Trump gave of Melania's condition appeared more serious than what the White House had previously said, that she had undergone a procedure. The procedure and embolization commonly takes up to three hours, suggesting that the one performed on the First Lady was more complicated than the average. She was also unable to fly with her husband to Canada for the G7 summit this weekend. After trying to smooth over tensions with the six other leaders at the summit in Canada, Trump spoke optimistically about his looming meeting and said he believed it would go well. I will be on a mission of peace and will carry in my heart the hearts of millions of people all over the world, he said. The president arrived in Singapore Sunday evening and met with Prime Minister Li Xian Lung. Trump and his delegation had working lunch with Singapore's prime minister and officials at the Astana ahead of the June 12 meeting with the North Korean leader.